What is up everybody, Ali M here. Today I'm just gonna bring you a little bit of a tutorial. Um, so I'm just gonna teach you how you can make um, your video more cinematic in Premiere Pro. Uh, it's pretty easy, simple steps. You're just gonna have to follow along if you're new to Premiere Pro. If you're already experienced, you probably have better ways to do it, but these are very simple and good ways to do it, you know, even if you're an intermediate uh, user of the software. Basically, what I like to do is, this video is kind of light to me, it, do, it doesn't really have uh, a cinematic feel. So what we can do is just uh, go under effects right now and search fast color corrector. So you want to just uh, grab this, put it on your video, and under the effect controls right here, um, if you're not on it already, it'll just be right here. So click on that and then press on the video uh, that you dropped it on. And just go under so what you can do with this uh, color wheel is very simple um, so you can just kind of give your video a different kind of uh, feel or vibe to it um, we're not going to really worry about that too much right now because uh, we don't need that but what we do need to worry about is just go under right here now you have your black levels over here um, you can just basically play around with the video. What you do need to worry about is here we have the input and output levels. We're going to worry about the input levels for right now. So when I move this uh, to the right, you can see already that it's giving uh, the video uh, a more of a, I would say, a more cinematic feel. So let's stop, let's stop the video right here and let's just move this back. You see, you see what I mean? I mean, I can't really explain it, but this gives it a more cinematic feel. You don't want to go too overboard with it. This is too much. Maybe, uh, I think this right here is perfect. It just gives it a more dark, I don't want to say dark uh, feeling, but just a better overall look of the video, I feel like. And then you have your output levels you can play with if your video is too dark. Uh, you can also play around with this, which also gives it a very nice feel. Uh, there we go. Move this around a little bit. So yeah, you can play around with that. You can also play around with the color wheel, but yeah, like I said, we're not gonna mess around too much with that. Now, what we can do to make this video more cinematic is I will uh, put a link in the description for these uh, wide kind of uh, widescreen um, templates. So what you can do is literally just drag it over your video, you know, put it over here. And then boom, you have yourself, you know, this isn't the best uh, example of a video to use the template on because it, um, it covers my face, but you can move around the video if you want uh, to kind of fit your needs. I'm not going to right now because I really don't need to, but yeah, the, this kind of gives it a much more cinematic feel. It gives it, you know, like where, where you see in like movie theaters, it just gives it a much better feeling. So uh, the next thing you can do, I can't really mess around with uh, that video too much. So what we're going to do is I have this video right here. Now, as you can see uh, from the edges right here, the video is shaking. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but we can obviously fix this up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go under effects, uh, erase that, and just type warp stabilizer so you'll see the warp stabilizer right here but before you do that it's very important right click your video press nest and then okay hold on I'll show you what happens when you don't nest the video and put this in so I try putting this in and just watch so basically what will happen is most of the time it's not happening to me right now but it'll just give you problems if you don't nest the video and it'll tell you to nest the video, but a lot of people don't know how to do that. So what you want to do is literally right-click the video, press nest, press OK, and then grab your warp stabilizer and just drag it onto your video. Now you saw how um, it was all shaky last time. This is going to like completely take that shake away. If, and uh, you just want to be wary that... Uh, don't have too much of a shake and don't move your camera around too much uh, just because this uh, it's obviously not a perfect program and uh, your video will like be very messed up if um, your camera is shaking too much uh, you'll, you'll know what I mean if you try it but uh, this is about to finish 
so it's stabilizing and then what we can maybe do is just add the uh, wide screen filter over it all right and then look how much better that looks already it's not shaking at all look at the edges it's hardly shaking all I'm doing is moving the camera but there is absolutely no shake and it makes your video look fantastic I mean for this even we can go under effects again we can go to fast color corrector now if you think you know uh, this video is too dark or you know it just doesn't look good you can turn up the well, let's, uh, turn up the white right here and just make your video lighter but I wouldn't uh, suggest that I would actually move the input levels you know very little and then the output levels see what I mean it makes your video look so much better and it just makes it look like you know what you're doing you know what I mean you do what you want with your video I'm just showing you how you can do it so we have that we have the stabilizing uh, we have the color correcting and just making your video look more cinematic um, also another thing that you can do that I really like um, so you can add a title so this will just kind of be a yeah so 1080p and then the way I really like to work with and the font that I like it's uh, installed onto uh, Adobe Premiere Pro so um, this is an example I took from um, my last video but uh, we'll just write an example but what I like to do is just space the letters out and I don't know why but it makes it look so cinematic and then we're just gonna right click it position horizontal center and then vertical center boom there you go um, it'll just make your video uh, one second right, add it up there to another title and just it makes your video look so good anyways guys if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a thumbs up uh, tell me what you want to see next I'm actually learning a lot about Premiere Pro right now I'm editing a ton and I have a bunch of videos that you can check out on my channel uh, I'll leave them in the description a uh, bunch of edited videos that I made examples that you can look at and if you have any questions make sure to you know uh, leave a comment and I'll get back to you uh, very shortly but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoy it